Hi, I hope you are well wherever you are. In this type of switching power supply that use IC to generate pulse and a MOSFET. There are some parts that now their function will help a lot in repairs. I want to tell you their thing about this circuit. The first thing is about the transformer. This is the transformer of this device which is responsible of producing the accurate voltage. There are several coil inside this transformer. First, bring the device map. The upper coil is the same as the main coil for output voltage generation. The bottom coil is for generating voltage to run the IC. After the startup resistor provides voltage to the IC, next there is a secondary or auxiliary coil that provides the necessary voltage to continue to operation of the IC. But what is the role of this coil in the middle? This coil is connected to a resistor, capacitor, and diode. This coil is used to remove the magnetic field of the transformer when the MOSFET is cut off. And it causes the extra energy stored in the transformer to return to DC rail. The second point is about these two PMP transistors. The IC used in this circuit is UC3845AN. The job of this transistor is to prevent high current and protection MOSFET. It is the same as the protection circuit. If for any reason enough information does not reach the IC through the optocoupler, the transistor which the number Q3 turns off and the transistor with the number Q2 is turned on. 5 volt reference voltage throws this path, entire the emitter pin Q2, and throws this resistor in entire the CS pin or current sense in IC. This voltage will cause the IC to turn off. On the CS pin, there is a capacitor and a resistor. These two pieces are as RC circuits. The task of these two is to prevent accidental simulation in pin sense and to prevent sudden changes. In fact, the RC circuit removes the extra noise so that the IC can detect the current in real terms and not activate or deactivate by accident. Where is the place on the board now? This resistor and this capacitor are the RC circuit for the current sense pin. The third point is related to the TL431 shunt regulator. The reference pin is on the left side. The middle pin is the anode and the right pin is the cathode. This part is a shunt regulator which should have a voltage of about 2.5 volt on the reference pin. A capacitor and a resistor are placed on the reference pin and the cathode pin. This is an RC circuit for the reference pin of TL431. Well, what could be the function of this RC circuit here? This circuit makes the rapid changes of voltage in the reference base to be removed and the voltage fluctuation in the reference pin are minimized. Now, where is its place in the circuit?
This capacitor and this resistor are the RC circuit for the reference pin of TL431. In the next video, we will talk more about this circuit. Thank you for watching this video.